I'm Bob Hershon at the American Association for the Advancement of Science, or AAAS. 17 years ago, in 1996, Bill Clinton was president, and the Macarena was the number one song in America. It was sort of a song and a dance, and it kind of went like, well, actually, you're probably better off not knowing about it. In any case, the same year, an even bigger song here in the Mid-Atlantic region was the ear-splitting call of the 17-year periodical cicada. They emerged from the ground, they sang their song, they mated, they laid their eggs, and then they died. But soon thereafter, those eggs hatched, the little baby cicadas burrowed underground, and year after year after year, they grew, they thought their cicada thoughts, they dreamed their cicada dreams, until at the age of 17, they are ready to emerge and have a very, very big bug party. And here to tell us about it is entomologist Michael Rout from the University of Maryland. So, Dr. Rout, what are these things? What do they look like? And, and what's this going to be like? Bob, this is <laughs> going to be absolutely crazy. It's going to be great. These cicadas, as you said, have been underground for 17 years, and this is the year they emerge. These are big bugs. These are bugs everybody can get into that everybody wow. will see. They've got bright red eyes. They've got black bodies. They've got membranous wings with orange borders. These are really cool looking insects. Now billions of red-eyed bugs emerging from the ground and flying everywhere and making all the sound sounds kind of alarming. Uh, I'm a little, uh, is this something people should be worried about? No, absolutely not. This isn't going to be a plague. This is going to be a fantastic opportunity for children, for parents, for everybody to see the natural world at its best. Huh. And uh, now, why 17 years? I mean, that sounds, number one, it sounds like a long time. And it's also a very strange number. I mean, why not 16 or 10? Well, this is really amazing. The whole strategy of the cicadas is to simply overwhelm their predators with numbers. So imagine if cicadas emerged every year, and let's say a thousand emerged. If the predators could eat 950, why that would only leave 50 left. Mm -hmm. But if they lengthen their lifespan and they emerged every two years, now you would have 2,000 and the predators wouldn't even come close to eating them all up. Okay. It's predator satiation. The thing that keeps everybody on track to, is to emerge on a prime number year. This synchronizes all of them. So we have a massive emergent all at once. They simply overwhelm the predators and they can't eat them all. There are always just enough left to reproduce and carry on for the species. How are they? So, how do they know so much math? Are they down there studying for 17 years? They absolutely are. <laughs> what they're studying are the fluxes in nutrients and hormones of the plants underneath the ground. And wow. they're counting one, two, three, four, five. When they get to 17, then they're listening to temperature. And when the soil temperature hits 64 degrees Fahrenheit, these guys are going to be up out of the ground climbing up into the treetops to find their mates, sing, mate, lay eggs, unfortunately, and die. Wow, now is this something that um, happens all over the world or is it just uh, local to here? Yeah, we're really lucky because this is the only place on the planet, maybe in the entire universe, that this happens. Periodical cicadas are found from New England to Georgia mm -hmm. and west to the Mississippi. Okay. This year, brood two cicadas. It's one of the smaller broods while only emerging from northern North Carolina to the Hudson Valley and central Connecticut. So this is the only place in this year that this brood is going to emerge. Now, um, is there something that kids can do uh, to participate in this, either to help the bugs or help scientists studying the bugs? Sure, absolutely. There are citizen science projects out there right now. One of the most important ones is to find out when these guys are coming out of the ground. Another thing we don't really understand totally is where exactly these cicadas are going to emerge. We know generally, but we would like to find out exactly where cicadas will be emerging from brood two. So observing the emergence is going to be really important to help the scientists figure out how broad this distribution is. Wow. Well, thank you, Dr. Rao. And if, if you're 
interested in participating or learning more about uh, periodical cicadas at sciencenetlinks.com. We'll have links, we'll have information, we'll have all the resources you need to learn more about them and find out how you can participate. I'm Bob Hershon for AAAS, the Science Society.